The biggest question over the last six weeks is, is the market shifting? Well, that's been answered, yes. But I think it's a different type of shift than you expected. The biggest question now is, have you missed the market? Well, I'm gonna answer that for you in this short video. I'm Stuart Sutton, and we're gonna show you the proof that the market is shifting, but not how you think it's shifting, probably. A lot of people are thinking, the market's shifting, it's going down fast, I miss the market. Well, as my wife started telling me from the day I met her, if I said something that wasn't exactly correct, she'd say, that's just something you think. As a matter of fact, she still says that today. Do we have proof the market is shifting? Well, we do, but it's not what everyone is thinking. We're not about to fall off a cliff as far as the market's concerned. But let's take a look at some of the evidence that the market in one acre plus homes is shifting. We do specialize in homes on an acre or more, and that market performs a little differently than homes in the overall real estate market. So in June of 22, compared to June of 21, we saw 58% more homes go on the market. That's pretty incredible. That month in itself, June, was a big reason for the overall increase of 8.4% for the first six months. So this compares the first six months of 22 to 21. This compares June of 22 to June of 21. Homes that went under contract in June, 39% fewer. Well, wait a minute. Haven't we been hearing that lack of listings is the reason we're not seeing more sales? The demand is there, but the homes aren't? Well, what we're seeing is that the demand isn't what everyone thought. And part of that, obviously, is the increasing interest rates. But we had more listings go on the market. You would expect more homes go under contract. Didn't happen. 39% fewer than June of 21. Sales, that's closing. So these are homes that went under contract. These are homes that closed. 19 and a half, nearly 20% fewer homes closed in 22 June than in June of 21. Six months into the year, we've seen 11% fewer closings than the first six months of 21. Yes, we're seeing a market shift, but fewer sales? Is that a reflection of fewer listings? No, we've seen that we have more listings go on the market, so we're seeing a steady decline in the demand. I hope this makes sense. Here's something that I think you're going to really want to pay attention to. In the first six months of 22, we saw the average price increase by about 16.43% over the first six months of 21. But in June alone, June of 21 compared to 22, June of 22 saw 3.64% increase in the average price. Now, just so you know, January, February, March, April, May, those were all above 20%. This shows that the demand has decreased. The increase in homes, the decrease in housing prices is slowing. So that incredible leap every month, month after month, year after year for the last couple of years, we're seeing that come to a grinding halt right here. The list to sell ratio is another factor that means you're going to put a little bit less money in your pocket than you might have. Here's what I mean. The price went up 3.64%, but the list to sell fell 3.79%. What does that mean? Well, you just lost your entire increase in average price because demand has decreased to where buyers are paying less than they did a year ago for houses. Now, believe it or not, it's still above asking price. But if you have a million dollar house, just from a negotiating perspective, you're going to sell it for $40,000 less than you would have a year ago. Same thing with the six month ratio. You're going to sell it for less indicated by the first six months. But June itself shows you a pretty big drop. I hope this is making sense to you. In June, we saw the days in the market fall, which is positive. That's why it's in green. Well, wait a minute. People are paying less than they were a year ago, but homes are selling faster. How is that possible? Well, let me explain that. I believe, from what I'm seeing, that homes that are priced well, show well, are still selling quickly. 
Homes going on the market trying to get peak prices and take advantage, last minute advantage of this great market that aren't selling right away. That's where you're seeing the bad stats. Homes that are priced well and show well are still selling quickly as indicated by these stats. Here's some more proof of that here in just a minute. Homes on an acre or more over a million, a lot of people think, well, over a million is what gets hit first, the higher priced homes. Well, they're only taking five days longer. They're taking five days longer than homes priced under a million. So if they're priced right and show well, homes over a million are still selling quickly as well. Here's another stat that shows that we are shifting. We saw 20% less homes sell over asking price. Now, that's kind of like saying, well, we're slowing down from 100 miles an hour to 98 miles an hour. The market's still incredible, but we are seeing the backing off of that frenzied market we've seen for so long. Here's an indication of kind of the mixed bag I, I may have already mentioned. Homes that went in the market in June that sold the first week they were in the market, 73%. But you're going, well, wait a minute. We saw more listings and fewer sales. Correct. But the ones that did sell, 73% sold the first week. Let me go back to that priced well, show well. All right. March, April, and May did not even see that. In June, 73% of the homes that sold, sold the first week. All right. How about the first two weeks? 86% of homes that sold, sold the first two weeks. You can see that's a pretty strong stat all along, but June is the best. June shows, well, fewer sales. People are paying less for houses than they were a year ago, but they're selling faster. Mixed bag. We're seeing evidence of the market shift, but we're still seeing stats that show a very strong market. So just because we're seeing the incredible frenzied appreciation and buying demand slow down doesn't mean we're not in a great market. We're still a long way from a normal market. We're way above what would be considered a normal market. Now, I've mentioned several times, priced right shows well. That's the case in any market, a normal market, a brisk market, especially in a transitioning market. If you want to know about pricing and very important factors, take a look right here. For homes on an acre or more, this is something you just have to see. Hope to see you on that video.